welcome to another edition of Dick's Trips. We're here in a very chilly corner, the northeast corner of Indiana, about two miles from Fort Wayne, which is over there. I'm at the junction of Cromer Road and US Highway 30. And behind you is a very special place I traveled halfway across the country just to visit so we can make this film. Let's go and find out what they got inside. This LEED certified building is the home of Sweetwater, the largest online music equipment retailer in North America. The first thing you see when you walk through the door is a red VW microbus, just like the one founder Chuck Surak started his business from. And right next to that is a huge music store. We'll be back here in a second. If you walk further into the building, you'll find this wonderful dining and cafe area, which is open to the public. During our stay, the Dick's Trip staff ate here every day, and we suggest you arrange any visit to Sweetwater to coincide with lunch. You'll not be disappointed. Well, enough about food. Let's go back to the store and look at some guitars. Let's meet music store manager Thad Techmeyer, who's going to show us how to find that special axe you've always wanted. The guitar gallery is unique to Sweetwater and what we do in our guitar gallery is that we take nine detailed shots of every guitar and what that allows the customer to do is make a selection based on appearance. We cannot put our thousands of guitars all on display in our store so we give our customers a portal to our guitar inventory through the guitar gallery touchscreen. When I decide that I've found a guitar that I like I can select this and now I can see the different shots of this guitar. I can see all the detail shots up close. I can even look at the serial number. I can look at the back of the guitar. But what's very unique is that I can also, if I have multiples in inventory, I can compare them. And if I decide that I want to see this guitar and it's not already on display in the store, I can actually call this up and have it up here in five to seven minutes for the customer to get their hands on. Wow, places like a toy store for musos. There's a large keyboard room, mic room, and more gear than we have time to show. We've got to leave. It's time to meet with Mitch Gallagher. I'm the editorial director for Sweetwater. Uh, basically, what I do here is create content. Yes, he does. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher, author of Guitar Tone, pursuing the ultimate guitar sound. And in fact, Mitch has one of the coolest gigs on the planet. They pay him to make YouTube clips about guitars and gear. To me, there's a difference between a review of a product and a demo of a product. What I want to do is try to present the products in such a way that people know whether it's right for them or not. Uh, it, it absolutely is a dream gig, and you know who wouldn't want to play with all the new toys? I mean, it, it's tremendously fun. They have gigs at Sweetwater, too. We have a couple different venues here at Sweetwater. We have our performance theater, which seats several hundred people. It's a beautiful stage, has multiple sound systems. They're extremely high fidelity, everything from a uh, line array that's extremely high resolution to headphone jacks in each seat. And it was designed so that someone could stand on the stage and speak in a very soft speaking tone, and you could hear it in the back of the room. Beautiful venue to, uh, to work in. And then we have four conference rooms, and finally we have the Crescendo Cafe, which is a coffee shop that's here in the building, and it now has its own stage as well. And we have everything there from jazz jams in the evening that the community can come to and just get up and play, to uh, artists will come in and play at lunch for the employees. Down a corridor off the lobby is a state-of-the-art recording studio run by producer and engineer Mark Hornsby. Sweetwater was started in 1979 as a recording studio. Our founder and owner, Chuck Surak, was at the time a saxophone player, and he bought a four-track recorder and put it in the back of his Volkswagen bus, and every incarnation of the company since the bus has always had a recording studio element to it. Many top players have recorded here, and the facility isn't equal to anything you'll find in Los Angeles or New York. In a small cafe upstairs, we find Doug Hills, one of Sweetwater's sales managers. Obviously our business model here at Sweetwater is over the phone. We have a pretty large group of salespeople over here. We call them sales engineers. They go through 13 weeks of training. When you can combine their expertise and their backgrounds as recording engineers, as musicians themselves, with all the training they have and that relationship with the customer, we ultimately just end up selling them really cool gear. And for me, that's the reason why I wanted to come and visit here. 
Some of what Doug says sounds like good sales talk, and though I'm sharp enough to know they're trying to get me to buy gear, I sense they care enough to check that you've got your order and they're eager to take it back if it's not working for you. The conclusion of my first transaction with Sweetwater was unlike anything I'd experienced before, and I swore I'd never buy a guitar string anyplace else. In a modern world of cold hard sell, I really think they're onto something. Chuck, from the very beginning, wanted to treat his customers as friends. And so that's really the basis for everything here. So when we bring someone new in, they have to come in with that attitude. They have to want to treat people the way they want to be treated. But none of this matters if you can't fulfill the order. It's time to meet with Brian Randall, VP of Distribution. We are in the uh, distribution center of Sweetwater Sound, 100,000 square feet. We've got 13 dock doors that we're constantly bringing in trucks and filling them up with boxes that are making musicians' dreams come true on a daily basis. An average day is around 5,000 boxes that we're going to send out of here. Uh, during the month of December when we were really busy, we did around 11,000 on a couple days. There is something special in every box in addition to the gear that you order. Um, we put a bag of candy. In 2015, Sweetwater shipped 125,000 pounds of that free candy and sold over 80,000 guitars, more than 100,000 microphones, and enough XLR cable to stretch from LA to San Francisco. As I leave, I take a long, wistful look at the boxes on these shelves, each one with a guitar in it. And finally, if this isn't already the coolest place in Indiana, I bet it's the only workplace with a slide in it. Just another reason to visit Sweetwater. You'll find Sweetwater at 5501 US Highway 30 West, just outside Fort Wayne in Indiana. As for me, I'll have to walk home. I've spent all my cab money on guitar pedals. Go to sweetwater.com for a listing of upcoming events and masterclasses. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you on another adventure with Dick's Trips soon.